McFarlane Toys, DC Multiverse, Necron, Action Figure. Is this Action Figure Paragon, Razan in Perfection, or is he characterized by unalloyed, insipid mediocrity? In the form of a quantitative score, I'd have to raise this action figure to be a 9 out of 10. This action figure is indeed a meritorious, stupendous, ineffably epic action figure. This action figure has all cylinders in terms of his merits and redeeming qualities. He has a high quality sculpt, high quality shadings, high quality details, high quality aesthetics. as well as high quality textures. And he has latitude for dynamic posability. He's sporting ample points of articulation, so you can maneuver him into nearly any pose that you can, that you can conceive of in the bowels of your mind. Is Necron an ominous, sadistic, iniquitous, malignant, malign, cunning, conniving, malevolent character. I'm under the axiom that he is. He is a notorious villain in the DC Comics and um, he's presumably the nemesis of Green Lantern. I'm not well acclimated with this character's lore but um, he does appear to be an adversary of Green Lantern to say the least. Does Green Lantern subdue him and trounce him and decimate him? Who knows? As I said earlier, I am not well acclimated with um, this character's lore, so I do not know how he meets his demise, if he does. But, um, he has a sinister visage. He looks to be a diabolical character. There's so much personality that's metaphorically radiating out of his facial sculpt, to say the least. He looks like he's going to wreak havoc against anyone who comes within his vicinity. And he looks like he's a battle-hardened warrior. He looks like he's ready and rearing to enter the fray and ravage his adversaries. With no clemency, no mercy, and no compunction. He's presumably remorseless. He's probably apathetic to other people's needs. He's an ominous character. He instills trepidation in the hearts of his adversaries. So, he comes when it was a, th a thice and Tannum was a stand as well as a collectible um, art card. I would have preferred if he came bundled with a builder figure piece for a meticulously detailed colossal 14 to 16 inch builder figure. I would have preferred if he came bundled with fisted hands. I would have preferred if he came bundled with additional accessories as well as additional figures, but I'm done adjudicating over this matter. 9 out of 10 is my final verdict. For the price point of $40 plus sales tax, when you take heed of the fact that he's a deluxe figure and that he emulates his comic book counterpart and that this figure essentially hits those cylinders impeccably, I'm going to have to go with the final verdict of 9 out of 10. There's no major areas for improvement and there no, there is enough value to vindicate buying him if you're an avid devout avowed hardcore DC Comics fan so he is an upgrade over the um, DC Universe Classics Necron action figure and um, he's going to tower over that figure because he's a part of a one tenth action figure scale. So it coincides eminently well with the prodigious 67 inch action figure collection.
I think it even blend into a six inch action figure collection because he's supposed to be a towering, imposing, intimidating character. He's not supposed to be dainty, nor meek, nor timid, nor scrawny, nor feeble. So, I hope that you found this video to be amusing, enthralling, and captivating. Have a blissful day. Goodbye.